This has been a week of conspiracy theories. Welcome to this week's Who Wants to Be a Political Fan? First statements, please. Free trade only helps the 1%. The 1% parks my car. Let's keep going with a completely different natural disaster. Hurricane Donald. Who said Donald Trump is not an inspiring leader? A mightily courageous step by the EU. Mogherini officially talking about Russian forces in Ukraine. Imagine, what if the Russians get angry now? We have the formula for Russia to conquer Europe. The catchy tune goes, we will release all other Ukrainian political prisoners. Poo poo pi doo. And at the time we're filming this, EU leaders are having an English breakfast with Cameron. And we just wonder. A deal was reached with Cameron last week to avoid Brexit. But in a dramatic change of position, Boris Johnson decided to give a face to the no camp. The longer the Brexit debate lasts, the higher the probability that someone uses a Hitler comparison. So the Remain camp leaves and the Leave camp remains. Except that Farage did resign as UKIP leader but then he does that every other week. Don't European summit. Loads of negotiations, one main conclusion. Ready? If Turkey remembers to do the dirty work outside our borders, the European Union will forget that they're doing a really dirty job inside their borders as well. And speaking of Russia, newly graduated spies partied in Moscow in a cortege of black Mercedes showing their happy faces in internet postings. Always always crashing in the same car with different pilots. I mean, who doesn't love fireworks? <laughs> and the weird moment of the week in the States was that funny dance of George W. Bush at the Dallas Memorial Ceremony. The awkwardness can only be matched by Boris Johnson's appointment as Foreign Secretary. 